Hey there, this is Tom Crandall from Gear Mashers and today we're going to be uh, replacing 11 speed hub with a 10 speed hub. So when you buy the Wahoo Kicker, this is what this is, uh, this is a 2017 model. Um, ours came with a 11 speed hub here and I have a 10 speed bike. So um, I'm going to want to replace that. So I have some tools here and when you're taking off a cassette, um, you have a lock ring here. So I have a, a lock ring tool that I'm going to be using. And a lot of people use chain whips to hold the cassette in place so that you can unscrew the lock ring. And so Park came out with these cassette pliers, which is a lot easier than using the chain whip. Um, so the way it works is you just sort of hold on to the cassette here. And then this has got a hole in here so I can put it over the quick release, which is really nice. And then I just sort of unscrew it. And, and so let's see, let's just do a few more times here. And you can see it's sort of coming loose. I'm just gonna hold it there for a sec. And then I can pull it all out. It goes right over. And so with this one, when I'm putting it on, there's these ridges on on the here and so I'm looking for a small one so that I can put uh, the other cassette on and it'll line up with a small ridge. Um, when you're adding a 10 speed, this is an 11 speed hub here, so you use this one and one eighth inch uh, lock ring and so I'm just gonna, or not lock ring, spacer. So what I do is I'm just gonna put that spacer on, so just slide the spacer in there and so that takes care of that. And then I have my cassette here. And so it also comes with a lock ring. And so what I'm doing is I'm gonna look in here for the small single one. So I'm just gonna put this down. So you can see here, here's that small one and all the other ones are a little bit bigger. So I just line that up with here and I just slide it right in. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other ones. Um, the other ones have these uh, black spacers that come with that. So again, you just have to make sure that when you put it on, you have the spacer in there as well. So again, I'm going to be looking for the small one, put that on, and then just add the spacer in there. See, so it lines it up. And then do the same thing with the next one. So here's the uh, slides right in and just have the spacer in there. It'd be easier if this was just one solid piece but unfortunately it isn't. And so again, looking for that, put it in, again do the spacer, lines up nice and here we go. Almost done. Got three more, and I don't have any more spacers that I have to deal with. And so, again, I just look through here for the small. Here it is. Line it up, and then do the same thing with this one. And do the same thing with the last piece here. And so, it all fits nice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the lock ring on. Let's see if this Ultegra lock ring works with it. It might not, so we might have to use the one that comes with. Let's see here. Yep. Seems like it's going to work. So I sort of hand tighten it down first. Okay. Then I, I grab my pliers and just put this over. And you're going to hear a sort of a, or maybe feel or hear a clicking noise. And then you just want to make it sure it's sort of tight. It should be good. It's not moving. And you're good to go. So now I have a 10 speed cassette on here that's going to work with my uh, 10 speed bike. And I should be good to go. Um, when I had the 11 speed, the, the chain was skipping, but, uh, and if I need to, I can always come back and tighten this 
a little bit more, but I think it's pretty secure. So anyway, that's how you change a cassette on the Wahoo. Uh, this is the Kicker 2017. Pretty easy process. And again, if you need to clean it or anything, you would just back it out, You'd get your tool, get this thing, and then go through and, and loosen it. But that's all. Anyway, uh, thanks so much. This is Tom Crandall from Gear Mashers.